Hi, welcome, I'm Hannah, and today I'm going to be reporting back on the lipsticks I was using for the last couple weeks. We'll talk about what I'm keeping in my life, what I felt about using them as a little wardrobe for the past, I think, about three weeks, and I'll be revealing the lipsticks I'll be wearing in April. As I said last time, I kind of want to start doing this more fluidly in a way. I feel like a month is kind of feeling too long for me and even like twice a month, two weeks kind of feels too rushed. So I'm kind of just trying to use them for as long as it takes to feel like I'm getting the hang of them because the objective is just to get to know the lipsticks I have in my collection a little bit better make sure I like all of them right now and I'm not just keeping them out of feeling a debt to them or, you know, like I should have them. And also making sure that the formulas are still good and they haven't gone bad because I have a lot of old lipsticks too. If you want to see me smelling and getting grossed out by old lipsticks, boy, my last declutter is for you. I'll link that down below. Hop in right in. I'll tell you what I have on my lips right now. This is ColourPop Bling Ring, and I have a little bit of Melted Nude from Too Faced on top of it. And I actually really like this combo. I didn't wear it till today, but this is definitely something I want to like keep in my mind because I feel like when I wore Bling Ring earlier this month, it felt very pink. And sometimes I just feel like it makes me look too girlish or too made up. So even though it's a very pretty color, it's not always my favorite look, but this Melted Nude on top really did the trick. Both of these are super comfortable formulas, but I like this anyway to add to pretty much anything to make it more comfortable. I wish they still made this. So both of those are definitely staying. Next up is Crushin. This is an ultra glossy lip from ColourPop. This one I got kind of recently, so I didn't really use it. Oh, it's so gooey. So I didn't really use it much until this month. It did come in handy. It's a very convenient color. I wore it for something I filmed today. I wore this mixed with an about face lip that I'm gonna show you in a second for a look today and it was really nice. I wore this alone in a Luxy swatch video, the Butterfly Kisses Collection swatch video. It's just like a super nice mauve. I'm not crazy about the brush of these ColourPop ones. You can see it's like this frayed bristles. Not the best, but the formula is good enough and I like the color, so it's sticking around. So this is the About Face Lippy. This is the Paint It Matte Lip Color in the shade Slumber. And this one I enjoyed a lot more than I thought I was going to. I did a first impressions with this at the, at the end of January, probably posted in February. And I wasn't sure if this was too matte for me because I've really been moving away from matte lipsticks. But I've realized upon wearing this more mixed with things and on its own, that it is comfortable. It's something that it's matte, but when I smile wearing it, it doesn't crack or anything. The smell is still a little weird to me. It smells kind of like menthol-y. Not my favorite, but I actually did order another one of these in another color recently. I'll be talking about that soon, but I realized I like it enough that seeing another color I really wanted in this formula, I was okay with that. So I think that kind of says something. Another one that I mixed that with besides the Crush and Glossy Lip was this ColourPop Ultra Satin in Dopey. This is one of the minis. They don't even have this formula anymore, which I'm so mad about because I love these satin lips so much, but it made like a really nice combination. And I wore this several times this month. When I was kind of like grabbing a lip, this was my go-to combination, dopey and slumber mixed together. And I feel like a lot of my ColourPop lipsticks from years ago are really going off, but this one's still, still hanging in there. So I'm gonna try to like use this as much as I can until it inevitably goes bad, probably not too far in the future. Okay, the first one on the chopping block. This is Caramel Cake from Wet n Wild. I don't support Wet n Wild anymore because they had their whole little scandal a couple years ago where it turned out they were selling in China and not being honest about that. And at the time I had gotten rid of a lot of my Wet n Wild things just because I was so not excited about them anymore. But I held on to the things that I liked the most. At that time I still had hope that it would kind of be sorted out and they would be cruelty free again but that didn't happen. I also feel like I should use what I have because by throwing it out, I'm not really, I'm not really showing them. I'm just kind of wasting my own money. But for makeup, I like it feeling special and these things don't really feel special anymore once I dislike the brand. So this shade I really liked in the past, but I think I'm going to declutter it. I wore it in one of my St. Patrick's Day looks and I felt like it seemed a little, a little patchy. It's a couple years old at this point anyway and it just doesn't make me excited. I have so many lipsticks and makeup products that feel like a little special gem in my hands, and I don't owe it to anyone 
to keep around a lipstick that's getting old and I just, it doesn't make me happy. This was like my one perfect brown liquid lipstick for a while. I do have some like other formulas of brown that I'll have to try out, but I also want to get comfortable not having a full collection. It's okay if I have a deep chocolate brown matte on my list and that'll be something exciting that if a new formula comes out that I really want and they have that color, I can get it. You know, I don't have to rush out and replace it right now. I can kind of just wait in this feeling of maybe having that on my list. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna declutter caramel cake. One not on the chopping block. This is just a Coco K lip liner from Kylie. I really like their liner formula. It really is like the same as ColourPop, but it's nice. Yeah, I didn't use this a ton this month because it is light enough that it didn't really mix in with colors, but I did use it as a base a couple times just to give myself an even outline on my lips before I went in with color. This one's a little bit on the chopping block, but I think I'm gonna keep it around for now. This is the House Laboratories Le Monster Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Talk Dirty. It's not like there's really anything wrong with it. I feel like it's fine, it's all right. I was finding it very convenient this month because I like lipsticks that feel like they kind of just evenly come off. So if I'm like actually doing something social where I'm not constantly monitoring my lipstick, I don't have to worry about all of a sudden it being crusty or splotchy. I don't have to worry about needing an actual makeup wipe to take it off. It'll just come off on its own on a napkin or when I'm eating. So that is nice about it. The thing that gave me pause is that I realized it's a really similar color to Brink from ColourPop, which I have. And I really like these lippy sticks formulas. So that's Brink. Maybe Brink is a tiny bit more of like a watermelon tone and this is like a little bit more brick but they are very similar. Yeah, I don't know. I swatched this earlier this month when I kind of made this comparison and I thought it looked more similar than it's looking right now. Maybe it's with the lights on it, but that's interesting. Either way, I'm keeping it for now. I'm keeping the brink for now too. Next up is Lullaby. I really like this color. Again, I really like this lippy stick formula. No complaints with this one. I will keep using it until it tells me it's bad, which hopefully won't happen for a really long time. And finally, I have Jilted from Urban Decay. So this one I'm not sure about. I kind of like owning it, but it is several years old at this point. And the only time I wore it was in the um, Menagerie Cosmetics Flight Club video. And I didn't really like how it looked on my lips. It might've been that I was too made up, but most of the time I'm too made up. And so I like lipsticks that can go with a bold eye look. I don't know. I don't know if I'm quite ready to part with it. It doesn't totally feel like a special gem in my collection, but something about it I still really like. So yeah, I think I am going to hold on to this for now, but keep your eye on future declutters because I don't think this will make it through the year. But I think I might just have to wear it another couple times and really assess how it makes me feel. I'm going to wipe this hand off and be right back with my next batch. Usually I have like a really good idea about what my next batch is gonna be way before the point that I'm like turning over. But then today I was kind of like, oh, I think I'm ready for a new batch of lipsticks. Let me film that. And like right when I was like setting up for this, I just grabbed the lipsticks that I'll be using this month. So I'm kind of excited about the spontaneity of it, but we'll see. I didn't like really think into it that much about what will go with what. We'll see. The first one is M Miha, M Mija. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. This was the Becky G and ColourPop collab from a couple years ago. And this is like my favorite lipstick in my whole collection. This is one of those things that I own that I'm scared to use because I love it so much and I don't want to be done with it. It's an ultra satin. I love the color, but I was realizing as I was going through and smelling a lot of my lipsticks this month and I decluttered a lot of ColourPop lipsticks because they went bad, that this is not gonna last forever, as much as I hate to say that. So I think it's kind of a shame to be saving the best for last when the best probably won't still be the best when I get to it. Yeah, I'd say now it does smell like a little bit lipsticky, but it doesn't smell bad yet. But I can tell it's like working on its way. And I think I just need to get a lot of use out of it while I can and while I love it. I wish they would bring this shade back and this formula back. It's just such like a nice rosy nude for me. If I can find a picture of me wearing it, I'll post it on the screen because it's that good. You have to see, even though you will see probably in a lot of videos this month. 
I really love this and I'm really excited with my decision to include it and not just keep like pushing off and saving it because I already know I like it or whatever. Next is Scorpio Moon from ColourPop also. This is a Kathleen Lights collab and this is also kind of that like pinky mauve color. A very interesting shade. I like it. I'm always surprised when I wear it because I always think of it as being more gray than it is. But I really like it and I'm excited to get use out of it. Next up is Peach Gloss from Persona. I've only used this, I think, once. Yeah, I feel like I only tried this out once. But it's a really cute gloss. It's pretty new in my collection. It's very sheer, so I think I might be able to add it to a deeper color just to add some shine. Or maybe I could wear it on its own as like a very simple, natural look. This is also another favorite. This is Kristen from Kylie. This one, surprisingly, somehow isn't bad yet. I also did get rid of a lot of Kylie lipsticks recently. But this is one that is still available on her website, and I probably will end up repurchasing this and replacing this one by the end of the year. I really, really like this color. It's such like a beautiful kind of like strawberry. And while the matte formula isn't my favorite, I'll, I'll do it for this one. I'll do it for a good enough color. I also included the Kylie lip liner in Candy K. This is just like a good pinky nude. This would probably be really nice under this Persona gloss also. And then this is the Tarte Tardis Lip Paint in Birthday Suit. I've had this for years. This was a Sephora birthday gift from a couple years ago. I can only think of one time that I've ever used it but I really liked it and I think it might be a nice like pink brightening mix-in for something like Kristen maybe. And last I have two ColourPop lippy sticks I'm throwing in. This one is Lumiere, which is also one of the Kathleen Lights colors. I didn't even realize I was doing so many ColourPop collabs. This is a really nice mauve color too. Oh, I didn't realize it's so similar to that one. All right, well, I guess I'm comparing then. I'm doing it. This is what happens when I didn't think about this too much beforehand. But I really like the formula and I'm excited to wear it. Last up, this is something that I actually bought this month. This is the I Heart This Lippy Sticks from ColourPop. And I believe that the black packaging is because the proceeds are benefiting black owned small businesses. So that's cool. But I don't think I like the shade that much. I had that whole spiel a couple videos ago where I was trying out all my pink lipsticks. I was looking for my pink fantasy. And for a time, I thought this might be it, but I'm thinking now that it's not it and I'm kind of disappointed, but I want to like give it a good shot and see. So we'll be doing that this month and that's going to be everything. If you want to see these in action, please give me a like and subscribe. You'll be seeing these for the next couple weeks and that's everything. Thanks for watching. Bye.